Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Cakes by MK. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own cake release also known as cake goop. Making your own cake release is the perfect way to save you so much time and money in the kitchen, especially if you're making layer cakes all the time. And even just for the general home baker, making this cake release is so easy and it's going to help you make sure that your cake layers come out perfect every time and you're not left with kind of, you know, a crumbly edge or a broken cake because it hasn't released properly from your cake tin. Also, if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video. Apart from that, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So cake release is basically a type of mixture that you coat the inside of your cake pan with before you put your cake batter into it so that once your cake is cooked it comes out of your cake pan really easily and it doesn't kind of stick to the sides and you end up kind of breaking your cake or having a really messy kind of edge to your cake. So if you watch my videos regularly then a few times I've mentioned a Walton cake release that I use for my cake pans but it can be quite expensive having to buy these cake releases all the time, they're not necessarily cheap. So more recently I've been making my own cake release at home which I absolutely love, I use it for all my cakes now and it's really easy to make so all you need is equal parts of a type of oil so any kind of vegetable oil unflavored is fine, some kind of fat so I tend to use butter, you can use shortening for this as well and then flour so just all purpose flour. So what I've got today is I've got canola oil, I've got some butter and then I've got flour and I've got one cup of each. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off by combining all my ingredients together and then just mixing it together with my hand mixer. And just make sure that your butter is softened as well, otherwise it's going to be a little bit hard to mix up. Now as you can see my mixture is a little bit clumpy because my butter was a little bit too hard so I'm just going to pop it into the microwave just for about 5 to 10 seconds just to allow my butter so to soften slightly and then I'm going to come back and mix it all up. So basically you just want to mix this together until it's a nice smooth consistency. Okay, so my mixture is a nice smooth consistency now and that is basically it. That is how you make your own cake release. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to show you guys how you would put it onto your cake tin. So I've got a six inch cake tin here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a pastry brush to just grab some of that cake release and very generously just put it all around my cake tin. And just make sure you've got all the corners. Okay, and that is it. So my cake tin is nicely covered now with the cake release. And then you simply just wanna put your cake batter into this cake tin and then pop it into the oven. Now I have pre-prepared a cake tin earlier and baked something in it so you guys can see just how easily a cake comes out. Now this is just another six inch lemon cake which I've got here and I've got the recipe up on my blog which I'll post a link to below. And I haven't done anything with it yet. It's been cooling in the cake tin for about half an hour now and I'm simply going to flip my cake tin over and it should come right out. And you're left with a beautiful, moist and perfect layer cake that has these gorgeous sides to it which make it perfect for even doing naked cakes and things like that. So that's basically it. Now when it comes to storing your cake goop or cake release, all you need to do is simply put it into an airtight container and then just pop it into the fridge and it will last in there for quite a few weeks uh, depending on how much you've made and then basically before you want to use it just pop it out of the fridge for about an hour or so allowing it to come to room temperature and then it'll be kind of nice and liquidy like this so you can use it on your cake tins. But apart from that, that's basically how you make your own cake release. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.